Association, Veterans Association. And we have with us uh, Kwame Lillard and uh, Professor Gloria McKissick from uh, Tennessee State University, both participants in the uh, Civil Rights Movement. Uh, Professor McKissick, I think we left off with uh, Professor uh, Lillard talking about some of his experiences. Let's uh, look at some of uh, your first involvement uh, with the uh, Civil Rights Movement. I mean, where did it start? It started at Tennessee State University, but when did you, f for the first time, sit in at a place? Uh, how did that become, uh, how did you become involved in that? Oh, the first time was at uh, Wilson Quick, which was a, like a drugstore uh, uh, lunch counter establishment on Church Street. Um, and uh, again, we were recruited from the student union by Freedom Riders who were expelled from uh, the university. Now the university mm -hmm. recently recognized them and, uh, and they have their doctorate, uh, honorary doctorate mm -hmm. uh, degrees, but at that time they were expelled students and it was quite a controversy around that. But uh, we went down to First Baptist Church for very brief training. Now, actually, the original people who were in the uh, uh, sit-ins got very extensive training. That's one thing about Nashville. Uh, Dr. King said that himself at Nashville was the best, most well-trained, prepared city in, in the country uh, for for, for sit-in demonstrations. And of course, sit-ins is just sort of an umbrella term for just all kinds of nonviolent uh, uh, activities that you can take, that can take place to uh, put an end to injustice uh, in, in the country. Actually, Dr. King identified more than 250 techniques that can be used mm -hmm. uh, in a nonviolent uh, manner called Kenyan uh, nonviolence and the sit-ins is just one but eventually students will be involved in sit-ins and stand-ins and walk-ins and just facing all just any place that anything that was involved with segregation and back then everything from A to Z in, in, mm -hmm. in the country was uh, uh, segregated including the school for the blind mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, uh, they, they were well trained by uh, uh, Lawson and others at the, not only First Baptist Church, with Qu which Kwame was talking about, but Clark Memorial, I think, is where they really uh, focus more than any other place on training those uh, students and practicing uh, for nonviolence. So when Greensboro took place and in in, uh, those students at uh, North Carolina A&T demonstrated, and they called for Nashville to support. Nashville was well prepared uh, to step up to, to, to the plate and ended up actually being the first city to desegregate their, their lunch counter. So that's part of the uniqueness of Nashville in terms of the civil rights movement. Myself, however, I came uh, after Lawson and others had, had, had left and sort of picked up the, the, the wand or picked up the torch and tried to continue uh, what, the, what those uh, vanguards had, had started. So my training was very little, but they set the stage and, and because they did it so well, uh, and, and as far as we know, no one in Nashville ever struck back. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were totally nonviolent mm -hmm. and committed to that ph philosophy. So we understood what it was that we were supposed mm -hmm. to do. So I went down to First Baptist and maybe they spent 10 or 15 minutes and I got it, mm -hmm. I understood. And we went down to Wilson Quick and um, um, uh, went in the lunch uh, counters there and of course, uh, they refused to serve us and soaked up the windows. And uh, in fact, they even put on the window Congo in, in parade. Mm -hmm. You know, we were the Congo, we were jungle bunnies, mm -hmm. you know. And we're just a group of, of students, you know, uh, trying to uh, do our, our best to change, uh, change the world, change Nashville, mm -hmm. change our lives. But mm -hmm. anyway, they were dragged out one at a time and, and tossed on, on the streets. Uh, in fact, 
pictures of what I'm describing are on the uh, Tennessee newspaper's mm -hmm. website. They're doing a series right now mm -hmm. on the civil rights movement, and they can pull up those uh, those All photos, those that, 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 mm -hmm. you know, and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's right there. Mm -hmm. But we were dragged out, and I was the last one uh, dragged out and mm -hmm. thrown on the street that day, my first uh, demonstration, and uh, that's when I got my commitment. Mm -hmm. And I knew from then on that this was something I really wanted to do. I, mm -hmm. I didn't know for sure until I was mm -hmm. thrown out on that street and, and uh, felt the humiliation mm -hmm. uh, of the, the indignity uh, of that. You know, Kwame, if you look at uh, some of the things that uh, I think most folks understand about the movement itself, uh, what can you tell uh, young people today over the last couple of minutes that we have here, what can you tell the young people today about uh, becoming involved in this uh, fighting against injustices, whether it's the sit-in movement or whatever movement, say something in reference to that. I, I think they need to know the history of our country that, that, that the country didn't just happen to get better. Mm -hmm. It just, no one woke up and, and waved a magic wand mm -hmm. and allowed you to try on clothes mm -hmm. at, at, a, at a shoe store. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no store just decided to take down the policy and make people love each other. Mm -hmm. It took a lot of sacrifice mm -hmm. from people who got, lost their education, mm -hmm. lost mm -hmm. their jobs, mm -hmm. uh, got, got beat up bad, sped on. It took a lot of young folks to take risks a lot of these young folks came from towns first time in college. Mm -hmm. Mama scrubbing floors to get you in college, and yet you're downtown courting arrest, mm -hmm. embarrassing them, your family, mm -hmm. embarrassing your teachers, mm -hmm. and nothing happens good mm -hmm. unless you're willing to sacrifice. And you have to look in the mirror and say, am I the person to do that? Mm -hmm. And can I find somebody that's like-minded mm -hmm. that I can trust, that, that we can have, have an agreement to continue until we see some results. Mm -hmm. You have to have patience. You have to have a sense of uh, there'll be people who will doubt you. There'll be people who will say you're betraying your, your Christian faith. Mm -hmm. There'll be folks who call you communists. Communist. Mm -hmm. They'll call you an atheist. They'll call you all kind of names. They'll call you folks who don't love America. Mm -hmm. And if you can't take mm -hmm. that, then mm -hmm. you don't understand what change is about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing good happens. Mm -hmm. the, 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 as they say, the wide, wide road is, is for fools, the mm -hmm. narrow, hard road is folks who are committed, mm -hmm. who have a legacy to, to honor. We had so many people who have suffered mm -hmm. in this town. Mm -hmm. It was time to change that. Mm -hmm. And you can't change hate with hate. Mm -hmm. You have to change hate with love. Mm -hmm. And that's something the kids need to learn about. Con confrontations that always have to end up in, in a fight, mm -hmm. a physical fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fighting with your mind and heart is a lot better. Very good. And of course, we're going to take this second commercial break, and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. <music> Final segment of the show for today. We're oh, talking wow. to uh, Professor uh, Gloria McKissick from uh, Tennessee State University and Leo Littert, uh, who is the president of the uh, African uh, Association uh, in uh, Nashville, uh, African yeah. Cultural Alliance uh, in Nashville, and uh, both have given us some information in reference to the uh, civil rights movement in Nashville, especially uh, the uh, sit-in movement. Let's talk